Hey what's up everybody, it's Tanky Cubed, and in this video I'll be reviewing my new main, the Guoguan Yuxiao. So this cube is priced at $16 at most cubing stores, which is the average price for most 3x3s. It is 56mm in size and doesn't affect my solving. For this review, I will be comparing this cube to the GANS 356 and the Kong's Design Mating due to their similar appearances, performance, and size. Please be aware of the price differences. While the Meiying is the same price as the Yu Xiao, the 356 is seven dollars more expensive. The out-of-the-box feel was extremely scratchy and sandy, just like the Mo Yu Hualong. It had moderately tight tensions with a tad bit of stock lube. It featured the very nice and bright Moyu shades. Speaking of Moyu, Guoguan is a new company that has recently branched off from Moyu, just like the Kong's Design Cubes. The designer Zhang Guoguan has been a designer for Moyu since 2014 and started his brand with Moyu. Hopefully we can see more cubes being produced by Guoguan in the near future. So with the semi-tight tensions, this cube could cut almost 60 degrees regular corner cutting in almost a full piece reverse. You could compete with an out-of-the-box Yuxiao, which is very impressive. Personally, I think this is the best cube I have ever used straight out of the box. After 700 solves, a PB average of 5, 12, and 50, this cube felt kind of slow and controllable like a Tanglong. I knew that I was going to test the new speed lube from Speedcube Shop on this puzzle, as I lubricated and tensioned it. I used Speedcube Shop's speed lube weight 1 on the pieces and cubicle weight 4 on the core. I also added two drops of Mar Lube after I broke in the new lube, one through the top of the cube and one through the bottom. After I finished setting up this puzzle, the scratchy feel went away as expected and had a smooth feel, similar to the GANS 356. Comparing the turning with the 356, the Yuxiao is smooth and fast with a very airy feel, and the GANS 356 has a smooth feel with a sort of blocky turning style, similar to the Aolong V2 and Aolong GT. As we look at the mechanism, we can see that the U shell features a sort of octopus core which Gans has implemented into their designs of the newer cubes. The pieces on the other hand look extremely similar to that of a Meiying, with the hollowed out corners and the track along the edges. The edge of a Meiying features a track that goes all around the piece, while the U shell has a track that runs along opposite sides only. Of course they both have a built in torpedo which prevents pops. The Yusha has actually popped on me once, but the cube was at very, very loose tensions. The centerpiece of the two looks similar in that they both have a curve on the bottom, but the difference is that there is no sort of deep Florian cut on the Yusha that the main has. The Yusha contains a round type of centerpiece. The corner cutting on the Yusha is significantly better than the main. The Yusha can cut over 60 degrees and reverse is very good. It can cut pretty much anything that you throw at it, while the main has some catching problems while reverse corner cutting. I've previously used the main as my main, probably because I like the scratchy feel of a cube. Guoguan has topped the main with the Guoguan Yuxiao. Now it's time to sum up this review. The Guoguan Yuxiao is a 56mm cube with a very airy and light feeling similar to the main. It features some interesting design choices and has amazing corner cutting. I believe that the corner cutting is equal to the GAN 356, if not better. When you pick this cube up for the first time, it will feel similar to the Tanglong, but after you turn it, it feels similar to that of a Thunderclap or a Meiying. If you enjoyed the Kong's Design Meiying, Chi Thunderclap, or Mo Yu Tanglong, you will definitely love the Yu Xiao. I will be using the Yu Xiao as my 3x3 main and possibly my one handed main. I am very excited for what Guogon has in store next for us, as I really love their first cube. So I hope all of you guys enjoyed this review, and if you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget to tell me which cube I should review next in the comments below. All of my social media links are in the description, so please check them out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.